guys, my name is Tessa and today we're going to be doing a video that's actually part of my full body series that's on Amazon. So please check it out. There's a link below and please follow us on social media. We would love for you to be a part of that. Today we're going to be doing massage for people that have desk jobs that suffer from um, just stress, upper back tension, and I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to be working on Miss Karina today, and I like to start by just getting the shoulders to move back a little bit. So I'm just going to press, and I'm pressing right on those shoulder joints, just getting the shoulders to move back and down a little bit. And be sure that you're not just hunching forward, really keeping your sh shoulders back yourself. And just pressing, putting some weight on there, going from side to side. And today I'm actually gonna focus on arms first and I'll work on this side. So, When you have a desk job, your arms can get really tight. This bicep tendon in here can get really tight and that kind of causes you to contract in. I really like to work on the arms first because it kind of helps the whole chest open a little more. And I'm just gonna get oil on here before I start putting much pressure. And what you can do is you can put one hand on top of the other. It's a lot easier to put pressure on that tendon if you're using both hands. And I'm gonna work my way up. And I'm gonna work my way all the way into that shoulder joint. I'm gonna start getting a little more movement in here. And again, you'll notice that my hands are stacked. It's a lot easier to do this. That way. Once everything's a little more warmed up, you can use the heel of your hand and you're just gonna work your way up that, that bicep and that tendon in there, getting into that deltoid and the shoulder joint. And remember to breathe. Really spending some time on this shoulder joint in here. And working my way down into that extensor in the forearm. So with this, you don't wanna just jam your weight all the way in. You wanna use less pressure at the beginning starting at the bottom of that forearm and working your way up and in slightly to that muscle. And Karina, would you like more or less pressure? Is that good? Okay, I'm gonna put a little more pressure into that muscle and you'll definitely feel the tension in that muscle. that point where you feel the most tension, you want to move a little bit slower. And at the very top of that muscle is the most tension. So I'm going to keep 
working my way up. This is a very effective way to work that forearm muscle. Whenever I can avoid using my thumbs, I do because I do so many massages that really budgeting when and how I use my thumb is really important. I find that people with desk jobs that do a lot of computer work, they tend to have really tight forearms. So sometimes I will actually use my thumb and it's a lot easier to work the muscle if you bring the hand in. And you're gonna start about the same place gonna work your thumb up you want to be sure that there's plenty of space in between you and the client if I'm hunched up like this it's gonna be a lot harder to use my thumb in a healthy way so be sure that you're using your body weight moving through your arm through your thumb getting in there you can bring the hand down slightly when you move up and just isolate the muscle a little bit more and you're gonna get more out of this by working the heart of the muscle the middle of the muscle and really pay attention to your thumb if it starts to hurt then honor yourself and go back to using the heel of your hand. A little bit more in this form. And moving into the hand. just alternate thumbs. This lower portion of the hand tends to get tight, really getting in there. And this place in between the thumb and the forefinger right in here can get really tight when the forearms are engaged all the time, typing or writing or whatever. You want to just use some trigger point therapy, just pressing right in there. And it helps to get in a little bit closer to that forefinger. And you can just work your way up. You'll definitely notice some tension in there and you want to move nice and slow just working that thumb up and again just pay attention to your thumb if it starts to hurt then don't do as much in this area your hand strength does get a lot stronger the more that you use your hands it gets easier to do this Massaging the fingers. You can get into those joints a little bit more, just doing little circles. You don't want to pull too hard, but you want to be firm. And you can stretch the fascial tissue a little bit. You can get some decompression in that wrist just by pulling a little bit. And again, you want to be firm, but you don't want to just yank anything. You want to pay attention. A little more in that shoulder joint. And normally I would do the other side for time's sake. I'm going to move into Karina's pectoral muscles, which play a huge part in um, just upper back stiffness. So, I'm 
You want to start in the middle of the chest, right in here. There's a lot of attachments in here. And you're going to move your hands down at an angle along the line of those muscles in there. And you want to go nice and slow, just working your way down. And you'll definitely feel what needs your attention in there. You want to work yourself, your hands all the way down. And just going slow, really working through that tension. If I feel a muscle that's more contracted, I'll actually move my fingers in towards it. Work my way down and then back in towards that tension. Really getting that muscle to not contract as much. And then working my way back down. And you want to start and this pectoral muscle, you want to start on the outer edge more and work your way in towards the clavicle. I'm going to work my way in a little bit more, getting into this part of that tension. And again, feeling some tension, I'm going to work my way in and just hold and then back down. Pausing if I feel like that muscle needs that extra time. All the way down. And now going really close to the clavicle here. Just gonna work my way down. And this area right by the clavicle tends to be a little more sensitive especially as you work your way down towards the shoulder joint. So use a little bit less pressure when you start as you work your way down. You can start to press a little more firmly. Just going nice and slow. I'll usually do some active release in combination with what we just did to really open up that whole pectoral and rotator cuff a little more. So I'm just gonna grab Karina's arm bring it up and make sure that there's not any tension so you can just wiggle a little bit. Part of active release when you're moving a body part, part of it is distracting your client and part of it is actually working the muscle a little more. I'm just going to place the heel of my hand where I started with my fingers about the center of the chest. Placing the heel of my hand right here. And I'm just gonna use this movement as distraction and to work the muscle a little more deeply. And I'm working my way down that same line that I use with my fingers. And some therapists don't move the arm at all, they don't even. Um, hold the arm. I like to do it this way. And working my way all the way down. You're going to get into that rotator cuff a little bit if you work your way down far enough. And just remember to breathe. Just like when I was seated, I'm starting on the outer edge and I'm working my way in towards the clavicle. And just 
compressing. You'll feel that tension. You want to linger a little longer if you feel that tension. You don't want to spend too much time though. This area can be really sensitive if it's tight. I'm working my way all the way down. There's a little bit of tension up a little bit, so I'm going to work my way back up. And as a therapist, you don't want to be mechanical in what you're doing. You don't want to think, okay, one, two, three. You really want to pay attention to what you're feeling. And I'm going to move in closer to that clavicle. Working my way down. And... There's some attachments right in here. This area can be really tender and it's an important place to work right in towards the center. And just working my way down and up again, feeling that tension right in there. And all the way down by that clavicle. can even pull a little bit more. Now that we've worked on those pectorals, it's time to work on the neck, the upper trap. I'm gonna get some oil on my hands. And you can start just right underneath those shoulder blades. And you're gonna Get some oil onto that neck. Sometimes therapists will not use any oil to work the fascial tissue a little bit more. And even using a little less oil can allow you to do that. I tend to use a fair amount of oil because I don't focus as much on that fascial tissue. And you can start to feel that tension in those muscles. And just with your fingers, just slowly working your way up the neck to the base of the neck. If you don't have a lot of time, you can just do this or you can get a little more detailed. Whenever you have a desk job, your occipitals at the base of your head can get really tight. And you can just, with your fingers, you can find them right at the base of the skull in there. You can do little circles. And this area tends to get sensitive when it's tight. Just start a little bit softer and then work your way deeper. And I'm starting at the center and I'm working my way out towards Karina's earlobes, doing tiny circles. And when you're doing those circles, you might feel a little bit of, it's like a rubber band that um, is really taut and you want to just hold where you feel that tension. And I'm working my way all the way out towards those earlobes. And you can work your way all the way around the occipital ridge. And each side is different places you need to linger might be different from side to side. If you want to spend more time, you can get a little more in depth by just pressing one hand at a time. And you're going to start at the center and work your way up towards that ear. And again, it's just little circles. Might feel kind of tricky 
to find the occipitals at first. Once you do, you'll definitely recognize where you need to press and what needs your attention. Just doing little circles and Again, when you feel that tension, you can just hold it. Use some trigger point, hold for 10 seconds. And release. Really take your time with this. When I work my way up the second or third time, I'll use a little more trigger point. Hold it longer. Then you can begin to work into the supporting muscles on the side of the neck and that upper trap in the back of the neck. That upper trap tends to get really tight when you have a desk job it's good to work that muscle anytime that you're you're massaging upward you're stimulating the heart in a really healthy way this is a great way to work the neck And work your way down too. So just following that muscle all the way down the neck and you'll notice that I'm supporting Karina's head with my hand so that it's not moving around all over the place. And when you get closer towards the center of Karina's neck, when you go all the way down, it's going to get really tender just be aware of pressing a little less firmly when you get to the very bottom. What's the time? And you can finish just by Getting into that upper trap a little bit more. And to finish, you can just let your hands move along that upper trap. And you can pull just slightly to stretch out those occipitals a little bit. And you're actually bringing the head, the chin in towards the chest just slightly as you pull towards you. And that is it for today. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you like this massage video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you have a fantastic day.